Yemen's Houthis threaten to extend ship attacks to Indian Ocean. They have hypersonic missile. Yemen's Houthi rebels claim to have a new hypersonic missile in their arsenal, potentially raising the stakes in their attacks on shipping in the Red Sea and surrounding waterways against the backdrop of Israel's war with Hamas in the Gaza Strip. The missile can reach speeds of up to Mach 8 or 6,200 miles per hour and is powered by solid fuel. An unnamed military source told Russia's Sputnik news agency. Houthis plans to begin manufacturing it for use in attacks in the Red Sea and Arabian Seas and the Gulf of Aden, as well as against targets in Israel, the source added. The source went on to say that the following months of testing, Yemeni Houthi forces have also upgraded their missiles and drones to carry warheads of twice the explosive power as what it had in its arsenal. Abdul Malik al-Houthi, the Houthis' secretive supreme leader, said the rebels will start hitting ships heading towards the Cape of Good Hope in Africa's southern tip. Until now, the rebels have largely struck ships heading into the Red Sea toward the Suez Canal, and such an escalation would target the longer alternative route used by some vessels. It remains unclear how they would carry out any possible assault. Our main battle is to prevent ships linked to the Israeli enemy from passing through not only the Arabian Sea, the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden, but also the Indian Ocean towards the Cape of Good Hope. Al Houthi said, This is a major step and we have begun to implement our operations related to it, he added. Al Houthi said, About 34 Houthi members have been killed since the group began the attacks, which have been aimed at 73 ships. Meanwhile, Iran and the US reportedly held indirect talks in Oman, the first in months amid their long simmering tensions over Tehran's rapidly advancing nuclear program and attacks by its proxies. Iran, the Houthis' main supporter, claims to have a hypersonic missile and has reportedly armed the group with the missiles they now use. ISW warns of danger of sudden breakthrough by Russian troops in Ukraine. The shortage of ammunition and military equipment caused by delays in U.S. aid could leave the current front lines in Ukraine very vulnerable. This could be exploited by Russian forces for a sudden breakthrough. The Institute for the Study of War said this. The Institute for the Study of War analysts said that Ukraine's prioritization of areas of the front line, which are most at risk from intense Russian offensives, could create vulnerabilities elsewhere. The Institute's experts warned that Russian forces could take advantage of this to make a sudden and unexpected advance. A breakthrough could happen if the supply of weapons to the Ukrainian military continues to decline. They also noted that the fact that Russia retains the initiative along the entire line of contact increases the risks of such a development, allowing Russian military commanders to increase or decrease the intensity of operations on any part of the front line at their discretion. The Institute for the Study of War analysts stressed that Ukrainian forces are likely trying to mitigate the problems caused by the lack of ammunition and are identifying priority areas on the front line. However, military analysts are convinced that this has risks for the Ukrainian forces. On the 12th of March, the German news outlet Der Spiegel published an interview with unnamed Ukrainian commanders who stated that almost all Ukrainian units and formations are suffering from a shortage of ammunition and military equipment. Der Spiegel noted that Ukrainian units can only hold their current positions if Russian troops do not use their full capacity to attack. Alexander Sirsky, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, warned that there is a threat of Russian units advancing deeper into Ukrainian formations in certain areas of the front line. Russian authorities block civilian evacuation from Belgorod region. Panic is growing among residents. Russian authorities are blocking the evacuation of civilians in the Belgorod region, where a raid by Russian volunteers continues. Panic is growing among residents, according to sources in Ukrainian intelligence. According to the sources, the Russian authorities are blocking the evacuation of the population in the Belgorod region. Security forces have surrounded the railway station and panic is growing among residents. RBC Ukraine received an interception of a conversation between residents from the direction of Shebekino, Belgorod region. Karachansky was shot at and taxi drivers were shot at. I don't know how our people will get there. The railway station has been surrounded. That's it. No one is allowed to go there or back. I don't know. It's a nightmare. 
let them get off near Prokhorovka, says a resident. Recently, dozens of Ukrainian drones were launched at regions across Russia, mostly targeting oil refineries in the Ryazan, Nizhny Novgorod and Leningrad regions, all located hundreds of kilometers from the front line in Ukraine. Russia's defense ministry said it had foiled an attempt by the Ukrainian army to attack its southern Belgorod region. Russia said earlier in the week it had beaten back attempted incursions into two southern regions which Ukraine said were staged by groups of anti-Kremlin Russian fighters not under Kyiv's control. Ukraine-based Russian opposition politician Ilya Ponomarev claimed that the border village of Lozovaya Rudka, Belgorod region, was under full control of liberating forces. The Ukraine-based Russian armed groups have made several cross-border raids since the full-scale invasion of Ukraine began. A full-scale invasion of Ukraine launched by Russian President Vladimir Putin is now in its third year, with no signs that the biggest war in Europe since World War II could end soon.